Pakistan's founding father Muhammad Ali Jinnah's aspiration to establish Pakistan as a distinct entity was evident from the outset. He envisaged a nation free from the shadow of India despite its geographical proximity and shared history. Historian John Kay notes that Jinnah was firm in his preference for the Islamic sounding acronym Pakistan over any name containing India. This preference stemmed from Jinnah's desire to emphasize the separateness and purity of the new nation as well as his concerns over the use of the term India. The term Pakistan itself was coined by Chaudhry Rehmat Ali in 1933. Initially, it was an acronym representing the five northern provinces of India, Punjab, Northwest Frontier Province or Afghan Province, Kashmir, Sindh and Balochistan. As the movement for a separate Islamic state gained momentum in the 1940s, Pakistan became a ubiquitous name in Muslim League discourse and correspondence. Jinnah's reservations about using India for the newly independent nation were twofold. Firstly, he believed that neither India nor Pakistan would retain the British title of India. However, this assumption proved incorrect and Lord Mountbatten, the last British Viceroy, granted Nehru's demand that his state retain the name India. Jinnah, upon discovering this, was reportedly furious. In a letter to India's first Governor-General, Lord Mountbatten, Jinnah expressed his concerns that the name India was misleading and intended to create confusion. He believed that the term carried historical baggage, suggesting an object of conquest which could dissuade Nehru from using it. Moreover, the genesis of the term India referred to lands that primarily lay on Pakistan's side of the border post partition. For a nascent nation-state that had not existed just 15 years earlier, laying claim to this historical heritage was paramount. Jinnah also wanted India to adopt the name Hindustan to emphasize the religious basis for the partition and the new nation states. However, the legal provisions of the Indian Independence Act did not officially designate Pakistan as an Islamic state, nor did they establish India as a Hindu state. Jinnah's objections to the use of India were not limited to rhetoric. In 1947, he even rejected an invitation from Lord Mountbatten to be the honorary president of an exhibition of Indian art in London because it used the name India. Jinnah proposed that the description should read Exhibition of Pakistan and Hindustan Art to avoid confusion. In September 1949, during the deliberations of India's draft constitution, the name Hindustan was briefly considered but ultimately rejected in favor of India and Bharat. Article 1 of the Constitution uses these terms interchangeably, reflecting the enduring complexity surrounding the name of the subcontinent's nations.